In yoga, an asana is a posture in which a practitioner sits, originally for meditation, or stretches, whether reclining, seated, standing, or inverted. In the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali defines, asana as, to be seated in a position that is firm, but relaxed. Patanjali mentions the ability to sit for extended periods as one of the eight limbs of his system, known as Ashtanga Yoga. Asanas are also performed as physical exercise where they are sometimes referred to as yoga postures or yoga positions. Some asanas are performed just for health purposes. Asanas do promote good health, although in different ways compared to physical exercises. Placing the physical body in positions that cultivate awareness, relaxation, and concentration. Through the practice of yoga asanas one puts the body into positions that are not often practiced in modern, everyday life and thus helps to maintain long-term range of motion as we age. Etymology Asana is derived from, listen Sanskrit, asana asana sitting down from asa as, to sit down, a sitting posture, a seat. The word was first used in English to mean a yoga posture in 1834. Context Yoga first originated in India. In the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali describes asana as the third of the eight limbs of classical, or Raja Yoga. Asanas are the physical movements of yoga practice and, in combination with pranayama or breathing techniques, constitute hatha yoga. In the Yoga Sutra, Patanjali describes asanas as a steady and comfortable posture, referring specifically to the seated, meditative postures used for meditation practices. He further suggests that meditation is the path to samadhi, transpersonal self realization. The eight limbs are, in order, the yamas, codes of social conduct, niyamas, self observances, asanas, postures, pranayama, breath work, pratyahara, sense withdrawal or non attachment, dharana, concentration, dhyana, meditation, and samadhi, realization of the true self or atman, and unity with Brahman, the Hindu concept of ultimate reality. History Ancient Patanjali's Yoga Sutra 4th -2nd century BC does not mention a single asana by name, merely specifying the characteristics of a good asana. 10th–17th centuries The Goruksha Samhita 10 to 11 th century or Goruksha Padathi an early hatha yogic text describes the origin of the 84 classic asanas said to have been revealed by the Hindu deity Lord Shiva Observing that there are as many postures as there are beings and asserting that there are 8,400,000 species in all, the text states that Lord Shiva fashioned an asana for each 100,000, thus giving 84 in all, although it mentions and describes only two in detail, Siddhasana and Padmasana. The Hatha Yoga Pradipika 15th century specifies that of these 84, the first four are important, namely Siddhasana, Padmasana, Bhadrasana, and Simhasana. The Hatha Ratnavali by Srinivasa 17th century is one of the few texts to attempt a listing of all the 84. Although four out of its list do not have meaningful translations from the Sanskrit, and at least eleven Karmakasana, Hamsasana, Kakrasana, Kermasana, Sitrapitha, Goraksasana, Angusthasana, Vyagrasana, Sara La Basana, Kraukasana, Durdasana are merely mentioned without any description but are described in other texts. In all, 52 asanas of the Hatha Ratnavali are confirmed and described by the text itself, or other asana corpora. The Garanda Samhita late 17th century asserts that Shiva taught 8,400,000 asanas, out of which 84 are preeminent, and 32 are useful in the world of mortals. Quote, these 32 are, Siddhasana, Padmasana, Bhadrasana, Muktasana, Varasana, Svastikasana, Simhasana, Gomakasana, Virasana, Dhanarasana, Maritasana, Guptasana, Matsyasana, Matsendrasana, Gorakshanasana, Pashamatanasana, Utkatasana, Sankatasana, Mayarasana, Kukutasana, Kurmasana, Uttanakurmakasana, Uttanamandukasana, Vrikshasana, Mandukasana, Garudasana, Vrishasana, Shalabhasana, Makarasana, Ushtrasana, Bhujangasana, and Yogasana. 20th century onwards 
In 1959, Vishnudevananda Saraswati published a compilation of 66 basic postures and 136 variations of those postures. In 1966, BKS Iyengar published Light on Yoga, Yoga Dipika, illustrated with some 600 photographs of Iyengar demonstrating around 200 asanas. It systematized the physical practice of asanas. It became a best seller, selling 3 million copies, and was translated into some 17 languages. It was influential, helping to found Iyengar Yoga and introducing the Western world to the practice of asanas. In 1975, Dharma Mitra compiled a list of about 1,300 asanas and their variations, derived from ancient and modern sources. His work is often mentioned in contemporary references for Iyengar Yoga, Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga, and Sivananda Yoga. Common practices In the Yoga Sutras, the only rule Patanjali suggests for practicing asana is that it be «steady and comfortable». The body is held poised with the practitioner experiencing no discomfort. When control of the body is mastered, practitioners are believed to free themselves from the duality of heat, cold, hunger, satiety, joy, grief, which is the first step toward the unattachment that relieves suffering. Traditional guidance Light on Yoga provides the following guidance for performing asanas The stomach should be empty, or asanas can be practiced an hour after a very light meal. The bladder and bowels should also be empty. A bath or shower before the asanas makes them easier. The best time for asanas is early in the morning or late in the evening. The breath should not be restrained during the asanas. Some movements, such as jumping the legs apart for trikonasana, are to be taken on an in-breath, some, such as bending the trunk sideways for trikonasana, on an out-breath. Perform savasana for 10 to 15 minutes after practicing asanas. <laughs> Surya Namaskar Surya Namaskar, or the salutation of the sun, which is very commonly practiced in most forms of yoga, originally evolved as a type of worship of Surya, the Vedic solar deity, by concentrating on the sun for vitalization. The physical aspect of the practice links together 12 asanas in a dynamically expressed yoga series. A full round of Surya Namaskar is considered to be two sets of the 12 asanas, with a change in the second set where the opposing leg is moved first. The asanas included in the sun salutation differ from tradition to tradition. Types of asana Asanas can be classified in different ways, which may overlap, for example, by the position of the head and feet standing, sitting, reclining, inverted, by whether balancing is required, or by the effect on the spine forward bend, back bend, twist, straight. The number of asanas varies by author as cited in the table, and by whether some poses are treated as variations or asanas in their own right. <laughs> Benefits and contraindications <laughs> <laughs> Claimed benefits The asanas of hatha yoga have been popularized in the Western world by claims about their health benefits. Physically, the practice of asanas has been claimed to improve flexibility, strength, and balance, to alleviate stress and anxiety, and to reduce the symptoms of lower back pain. Claims have been made about beneficial effects on specific conditions such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, diabetes. The practice of asanas has been argued to improve birth outcomes and physical health and quality of life measures in the elderly, to reduce sleep disturbances, and to reduce hypertension. Contraindications Light on yoga cautions that people with high blood pressure or displaced retina should avoid inverted poses such as sursasana headstand and sarvangasana shoulder stand. It also cautions that women should avoid asanas, especially inverted poses such as sursasana, during menstruation and the first month after giving birth. They may practice asanas during the first three months of pregnancy, avoiding pressure on the abdomen. They may practice Bada Konasana and Upavistha Konasana throughout pregnancy. The Yoga Journal provides separate lists of asanas that it states are unadvisable 
and should be avoided or modified for each of the following medical conditions, asthma, back injury, carpal tunnel syndrome, diarrhea, headache, heart problems, high blood pressure, insomnia, knee injury, low blood pressure, menstruation, neck injury, pregnancy, and shoulder injury. Commercialization and patenting Yoga asana training in many parts of the Western world has become a commercial venture. Critics have termed such practices, body shows. Yoga was a $7 billion industry in the United States in 2012. In 2007, the yoga teacher Bikram Choudhury, among others, attempted to patent 130 asanas in the U.S. This prompted the Government of India to seek clarification on the guidelines for patenting asanas from the U.S. Patent Office. In 2008, to show that all asanas are public knowledge and therefore not patentable, the Government of India formed a team of yoga gurus, government officials, and 200 scientists from the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research to register all known asanas in a public database. The team collected asanas from 35 ancient texts including the Hindu epics, the Mahabharata, the Bhagavad Gita, and Patanjali's Yoga Sutras and as of 2010, has identified 900 asanas for the database, the traditional knowledge digital library, and made available to patent examiners. See also Quranas List of asanas Topic Notes Topic References Topic Sources Iyengar, BKS, nineteen seventy nine, nineteen sixty six Light on Yoga, Yoga Dipika. Onwin Paperbacks. Meta, Silva, Meta, Mira, Meta, Shyam, nineteen ninety. Yoga, the Iyengar Way. Dorling Kindersley. Topic: <inaudible> External links. Media related to asana at Wikimedia Commons. Free library of yoga poses. <inaudible>